Hey y'all, I'm back. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to do a wash and go with absolutely no residue. So first I need to start off with clean hair and I'm using the Aussie Moist Shampoo as well as the conditioner. This is how my hair looks freshly washed. Now throughout this video you're gonna see me spray my hair a lot and the reason why I'm doing that is because I definitely do not want frizz and for the leave-in conditioner that I'm using is As I Am and this is a water-based leave-in conditioner so it will not leave your hair with a nasty white residue. After that I'm gonna seal my hair using Paul Mitchell's Super Skinny Serum and this is just gonna lock in the moisture. So I'm using the Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel. I use the Argan Oil, the Olive Oil, whatever one. First I rake my fingers through and then I use my Denman brush to clump the ends of my hair. And I just continue this process all around my hair, making sure that I coat each strand of my hair very generously with the gel. So this is my curl pattern with just um, the leave-in conditioner. I absolutely do not know what my, or I kind of have an idea, I think I'm a 4A, but if you guys know what pattern or curl pattern that I am, please let me know, because I don't, I really don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me, but I would like to have an idea or more opinions of what my texture actually is. So this is the final look of my hair when I'm done slathering all this gel in my hair. Then I quickly shake my head from left to right just to loosen up my curls a little bit. Now since my hair is a little short and I'm just not comfortable with wearing my hair this short yet, I'm using some pantyhose, the legs of the pantyhose, I'm cutting it off. And I'm going to use this as sort of a hair tie to push my hair up so what I'm doing now is I'm placing it from the back first then I'm crossing it in the front pushing it all the way up to however high it can go or however long your hair is and then I um, push the front pull it back in the back cross it then I took the remaining fabric underneath And of 
course you know I can't forget about the edges so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later